First the train from London to Liverpool, then a short trip to the docks where I boarded a ferry to Dublin, then the long train ride through Ireland to Belfast. Not a bad ride, but excruciatingly long. Check in at the guest house in the town proper, quick supper, quick sleep, quick breakfast, and a hop on the local train here to the Holland and Wolf shipyard. Fortunately, it was punctual. I was worried about being tardy for being three hours early. My darling Claire always said to me, Robin, you better get out of the house right now and go be useful for someone. She always did lovingly encourage me to show up for work early and give my best effort. Titanic is likely no different from the Olympic. They're structurally identical. The Olympic underwent these trials months ago, so this should be a simple repeat. I board, observe her during the sea trials, vote I or nay on her certification, and then I ride her back to Southampton. Come on, Robin, you can't mess this one up, as Claire always told me. I had better find my way aboard. But I suppose there isn't reason for too much haste. No one else has even arrived yet, it seems. Plenty of time to explore, if I desire. Let's look at the positive. The weather broke, and now I've been given the opportunity to board the Titanic Advance of the Trials. This gives me a bit of time to really admire the beauty of the ship before I have to scrutinize every last aspect of her functionality.
I'm quite surprised by the amount of confidence the industry is placing into this ship. She's not even certified yet, and her first ticketed voyage is just a week from now. No room for failure on these trials, I suppose. It's like getting dressed up for a date when you haven't even begun your courtship yet. How do you know if you'll be rejected or not? I learned that one the hard way. Belfast Lock is beautiful. With the hills around it and the morning fog, it reminds me of what I always imagined Puget Sound would be like. A man sure can make a living out in Seattle, if he can hold off the plague. I see they're doing all they can to extend my travel time. How do I find my way through this mess? Another dead end in life. You just can't beat that train carriage arrangement. It really stretched my cognitive abilities. People simply aren't stimulated enough these days. Claire tells me that every night.
Since the aft gangway is blocked, I'll board here through the first class. 